What are some black flags that you might be dating a pirate? You find a map in their laundry with directions to their ex's location. There be the booty. Take your upboat and go ye scurvy dog ye. You surprise them with a Bahamas cruise, and they just can't resist the urge to keelhaul the captain and commandeer the ship. Not even once. Not even for your anniversary. Again. Why have you stolen another ship? R, you told me to wench, I were eyeing the gift shop booty, and you told me to take over the ship. No I didn't. You were taking too long so I said come on dear. If you take the pee out of them, and they become pirate. What in Davy Jones locker did ye just bark at me, ye scurvy bilgerat? I'll have ye know I be the meanest cutthroat on the seven seas, and I've led numerous raids on fishing villages, and raped over 300 wenches. I be trained in hit and run pillaging, and be the deadliest with a pistol of all the captains on the high seas. Ye be nothing to me but another source o' swag. I'll have your guts for garters and keel haul you like never been done before, hear me true. You think he can hide behind your newfangled computing device? Think twice on that, scallywag. As we parley I be contacting my secret network o' pirates across the sea, and your port is being tracked right now so ye better prepare for the typhoon, weevil. The kind o' monsoon that'll wipe ye off the map. You're shark bait, fool. I can sail anywhere, in any waters, and can kill ye in o'er seven hundred ways, and that be just with me hook and fist. Not only do I be top o' the line with a cutlass, but I have an entire pirate fleet at my beck and call, and I'll damn sure use it all to wipe your arse off o' the world, ye dog. If only ye had had the foresight to know what devilish wrath your jibe was about to incur, ye might have belayed the comment. But ye couldn't, ye didn't, and now ye'll pay the ultimate toll, you buffoon. I'll shit fury all over ye and ye'll drown in the depths o' it. You're fish food now. Way too interested in my booty I did not pirate your booty. But I did pirate your booty's deputy. More than three 1TB hard drives. It's just their hentai collection. That's the 10TB drive. These are games. Hey I have 4 2 terabytes drives in my computer. It's literally because I'm a data hoarder and save literally everything I do. Have I played Left 4 Dead 2 in 4 years? Nope, but it's installed just in case I want to. I got work and projects from classes I took a few years ago just sitting there. He has two perfectly functional eyes, but he wears an eye patch over one when he goes outside so that it is still adjusted to darkness when he goes back inside. Little no fact. Nice work. I'm pretty sure it's a widely known one these days. He claims his true love is the sea. Brandy has entered the chat. She's a fine girl. The rum is always gone. Why is the rum always gone? Jack Sparrow. They speak Somali and are constantly out at sea in a beat-up Boston whaler or similar craft. Only the modern ones. Many are the more traditional ones. You're kidding me right? Are you telling me there's really traditional pirates that say are and have wooden legs out there somewhere in this day? Constantly bringing up information on what kind of goods are stored on the ships at the local port. In picking a movie for date night they say are a little too enthusiastically. They keep saying the rules are more like guidelines than actual rules. Consent is optional. Haley Joel Osmond, I void warranties, Haley Joel Osmond, he calls you a scurvy rat in bed. That's right, give me that golden booty, you scurvy little rat. Yeah, you like that you scurvy rat? If you can't go out to a nice dinner by the water without them twitching every time they catch sight of a sailboat in the distance. This is particularly true if they can't sit still and endlessly mutter about the British. If your name is a brandy and you're a fine girl, then you may be dating a pirate. If they always call dates treasure hunts. Also, if they cosplay as a pirate. 
When you are casually talking and hear Goma Goma no you were suspicious when they told you their favorite letter was RRR, but they clearly favored the C. A hook hand or a wooden leg. That every time you are buy a goddamn bottle of good old rum it's empty the next day you come home. They frequently want to play hide and go seek and leave clues on a map. The missing leg, hooked hand, and parrot on her shoulder. Crazies are the best in bed. Got a tetanus shot for my back scratches. If their swash shows signs of buckling, there be a pirate. Or if their timbers tend to shiver. That's also a good indicator. Piratey speak in long yearning gazes at the sea followed by them insisting on getting a boat or going on a cruise. Peg leg, eye patch, a fondness for the Jolly Roger symbol, a tendency to use ship terms on land um. They like long walks on the beach specifically when followed by digging, and a yeah I'm not funny, I give up lol when their favorite t-shirt has a skull and crossbones on it, and they wake up every morning with a knife in their mouth somehow. They are always watching the latest movies and TV shows and playing the latest games on their computer, but you never see them log into Netflix or Steam. How they treat the waitstaff is usually a good indication. I was going out with this chick and the waiter messed up her order, so she marooned him on a small archipelago in the North Atlantic. The relationship didn't last long. When he gets upset and asks why is the rum gone why is the rum always gone? Also he has this one bullet and gun he is saving for a revenge shot. I destroyed his rum stash and he almost shot me with that bullet. I really thought he may be a pirate then.